Welcome back. If you've been following along, you know we stole our big Anchor F3800 from the shop and we moved it over to the house. And in its place, we have been trying to run a EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus with a Delta 2 Max expansion battery. So here's a quick walkthrough and I'll update you on how it's going. Getting into the shop, you can see it's a pretty basic setup. And our biggest power draw most of the time is honestly the idle consumption of a big inverter. It's one of the few reasons why we decided to go something smaller out here instead of the Anchor F3800, which we were using. Some of our biggest power needs come from the need to power this big jack shaft opener for our garage door our overhead lights from Harbor Freight that are about 75 watts a piece, so they're not too much. There's a motion light that comes on with the opener when it senses you. I run some fans because it's Florida. And then we have a small TV running with an Amazon Fire Stick. But outside of that, and occasionally some cell phone charging, there's not much going on out here in terms of electrical need and I'm actually able to power everything by just running a few extension cords down to the unit and over to their source. So it's very crude, very basic, but it gets the job done. Something noteworthy about these overhead lights is that I wanted the ability to have a switch, just like you would if I wired it up with a traditional power. And so what I got from Harbor Freight was this smart outlet block. And what that allows me to do is power that and then I hang this switch on the door over here and it gives me the ability to turn the overhead lights on and off by pushing a button which I'll try to show you here boom and so that's pretty cool that was like 15 bucks uh, and it allowed me to have the ability to turn the lights on and off as I was leaving I don't have to like climb up there or run a really long chain or anything to get those lights on and off that's pretty cool so it's going to get pretty loud here i'm going to turn this fan on for maximum draw so you can see what the consumption is all right so we're at max output with the fan pulling 237 watts so with budget in mind this is the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus, and this is actually an older generation expansion battery. The Delta 3 Plus has 1000 watt hours of battery storage, and the Delta 2 Max expansion battery has 2000 watt hours. So total, we got a smidge over 3000, which is almost as good as running the Anchor without an expansion battery. Here you can see our sun situation as we're getting into the later months. It's mid-October about a little after 11 we got sun overhead i have my two panels which is on the mobile setup that i made so i can move it around in an emergency and i can put it inside if a hurricane's coming these are the same 355 watt panels that power the house and that's one channel so 700 watts on one channel then over here we have the smaller ground mount style with just one additional panel. And this is really good because when the sun goes this way and it casts shade from the building on these panels, I can either tilt these out or if I'm not using it a lot, this will catch enough to keep it powered up. And then it'll continue to catch sun as it goes all the way down into the sunset hours. We'll continue to bring in some sun, which is pretty nice. And so the reason I choose to use the medium size i would say small small end of the medium size uh, delta 3 plus is because even though it only has 1024 hours of battery it has two solar inputs rated for 500 watts each which you can over panel if you remember i said on the 
array outside I have 700 watts on the first channel, that's fine. It'll only pull what it can pull. I can then use that second channel to bring in some additional sunset sun like I was telling you guys about. And you can see with the 3000 watt hours on here, it's really hard to do much damage as far as consumption, just running the lights, opening the door. But really quick, let's see what kind of power it uses when the garage door closes. It's gonna get pretty loud. All right, so we're closing the garage door. And we are surging up to 330 watts, which with the lights running, TV on, garage door, I mean, we're nowhere near maxing out what this inverter can handle on the Delta 3 Plus. And we bring in plenty of solar to maintain. And although this is a more affordable setup, I know that it's still not inexpensive by any means. That Delta 2 Max battery on the bottom there, that was about $850 from Home Depot. I used my military discount there. If not, I tried to get things from Signature Solar or directly from the manufacturer. I did buy the early bird special deal on the Delta 3 Plus. And so that was about 500 to 550 if I remember correctly. And so, you know, about $1,400 for that setup. But if you factor $1,400, you have modularity, you have portability. And what they quoted us to trench power over was over $5,000. So the ability to have power on demand that I can scale if necessary and no extra bill every month, I think that's money well spent. And so a few of the other reasons why I'm able to get away with using a smaller battery station out here is because I primarily use uh, 18 volt or you know 20 volt battery pack batteries like your Milwaukee M12, M18, stuff like that. Uh, and I keep all that stuff at the main house. I don't use an air compressor. That's pretty much eliminated the need to use an air compressor for me, having all the battery tools as I build those up over time. And so for hand tools, you know, light mechanic work, the stuff that I do out here, I don't really need anything huge. Now, once I get to welding, that's gonna be another ball game. I do have a 50 amp plug on the house, um, but you know, that's something I have to cross when the time comes. For now though, this has been great. We've been running the shop on solar for over a year, haven't had a single power bill. We're able to use the equipment that we have for emergency to offset our day-to-day -day expenses, which is always the goal. You don't wanna have a whole bunch of stuff stacked up for just in case that you never ever use. Uh, or it's a burden to just get it out and run it through its paces and stuff like that. So this has been really nice, it's helpful. And it's been a realistic use case for how much solar, how much battery do you need to use things and get by day to day. Ultimately, I feel like you can't go wrong with most any of the modern power stations. They've worked out so many of the bugs, they've refined them over time and just constantly been improving them. Competition has driven the price down, it's outstanding. I choose to usually go with EcoFlow or Anchor uh, just because I've had good experiences with them. There are some other brands like Jackery, Pecron, Goal Zero, things like that, Blue Eddy. You know, there, there's so many uh, that might fit your specific needs. But for us, uh, we've been happy with our Anchor and our EcoFlow products. If you have any questions about the EcoFlow, the Delta 3 Plus, uh, we actually have two of them here that we use. One is a UPS, uh, we have Rivers, uh, the River Plus, the Delta 2 Max, the Anchor F3800, uh, some older, smaller anchors. If you have any questions about power stations and how we use them, uh, feel free to ask. We'll answer what we can. We're not experts, you know, but we are people that buy stuff with our own money uh, and use this stuff every day. Um, so maybe we can help you out if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to give us a shout. And my wife will give me heck if I don't say this, so please like and subscribe if you enjoy the little bit of content we've been able to put out so far, we're learning. This is fun. It's a journey. So like I said, if you enjoy any of it, or if it's helped you at all, feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks.